In this video, we'll learn a simple and easy method to model a plain Christmas ornament ball, also known as a bobble, in FreeCAD, fully prepared and ready for 3D printing. Hi everyone, welcome back to the CAD CAM Course YouTube channel. This is project 4 out of 40 in the FreeCAD for 3D printing series. This project is part of our Christmas special edition, where we'll be modeling ornaments and decorative items that you can easily 3D print for the holiday season. FreeCAD is one of the easiest and most efficient tools for designing such parts, especially when you're focused on functional printable models. As always, we'll break the entire model into clear, easy to follow steps and build it piece by piece. To make it even easier for you to follow along, I've prepared a step-by-step -step PDF guide. I've also included the FreeCAD FCSTD file and a ready to print 3MF file for reference. All right then, let's get started. If you look at the drawing, you'll notice that the object is spherical. Whenever you encounter a spherical or cylindrical part, one of the most efficient modeling methods is to create a side profile and then revolve it around an axis to form the 3D shape. If we take a sectional view along AA, you can clearly see the profile that defines the ornament. Open FreeCAD and switch to the part design workbench. Click on create new sketch. You'll see three standard planes, XY, XZ, and YZ. Select the XZ plane, which is the front plane. We're now inside the Sketcher workbench. Grab the Circle tool, pick the origin as the center, and draw a circle. Since we want this ornament to be hollow, keep the Circle tool active. Again, pick the origin and draw a second circle concentric to the first one. Now grab the Dimension tool, set the diameter of the outer circle to 100 millimeters, set the diameter of the inner circle to 96 millimeters, this gives us a wall thickness of two millimeters. If you want thicker walls, you can simply reduce this inner diameter further. Next, grab the polyline tool. Start from the bottom point of the outer circle. Draw a vertical line passing through the origin and going up to the top of the circle. Continue extending this line upward to form the base for the hook. Then make this profile to make small cylinder. Don't worry about exact dimensions, just aim for a rough shape similar to the reference drawing. Now use the dimension tool. Set the length of this vertical extension to 10 millimeters. Set the width of this profile to five millimeters. At this point, the sketch should turn green, indicating that it is fully constrained. However, to perform a revolve operation, we only need half of the profile. Grab the Trim Edge tool and carefully trim away the extra lines. FreeCAD will automatically detect the correct endpoints. Also, remove the center line since the part needs to remain hollow. After trimming, the sketch may become under constrained. To fix this, try dragging the red points to identify where constraints are missing. Hold Control, select the loose point and the vertical axis, and apply a coincident constraint. Next, constrain the bottom points. These points are already vertically aligned with each other, so attach them to the vertical axis using another coincident constraint. The sketch should now turn green again. If you zoom into the top area, you may notice a small extra line. Use the Trim Edge tool to remove it. After trimming, the wall thickness dimension may be lost. Grab the dimension tool and set this thickness to two millimeters. Now let's add fillet to this corner, activate the sketch fillet tool, select the two adjacent lines. The fillet is now applied. Grab the dimension tool and set the fillet radius to five millimeters. The sketch is now fully constrained and complete. Close the sketch to return to the part design workbench. With the sketch selected in the model tree, activate the revolution tool in the revolution parameters. Set the axis of revolution to the vertical axis. Set the angle to 360 degrees. Click OK. The main spherical body of the ornament is now created. Creating the hanging loop. 
Next, we'll add the loop at the top so the ornament can be hung. Click Create New Sketch and again select the XZ plane. Activate the View Section tool to slice the model at the sketch plane so you can clearly see where you're working. Now grab the External Geometry tool and click on the top edge of the ornament. This brings the edge into the sketch as a reference line, shown as a purple dashed line. Grab the Circle tool. Pick the intersection point of the vertical axis and the reference line as the center. Draw two concentric circles. Using the Dimension tool, set the outer circle diameter to 8 millimeters. Set the inner circle diameter to 6 millimeters. Now grab the line tool and draw a horizontal line along the reference line through the center. If you try to move this line, you'll notice that this endpoint is not fully constrained. To fix this, hold Control, select the endpoint in the outer circle, and apply the coincident constraint. Next, let's remove the unnecessary geometry. Activate the Trim Edge tool and trim away the excess lines, keeping only the required loop profile. After trimming, the sketch may become under constrained. To check this, click and try to move the sketch slightly. Now hold Control, select this endpoint and the reference line, and apply the coincident constraint. Repeat the same step on the opposite side. The loop sketch is now fully constrained. Close the sketch. With the loop sketch selected, activate the pad tool in the pad parameters. Enable symmetric to plane that. Set the pad length to 2 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's add fillets to improve strength and appearance. Activate the fillet tool. Set the radius to 0.4 millimeters. Select the four small edges of the loop U. Click OK. Activate the fillet tool again. Change the radius to 0.5 millimeters. Select the two remaining edges. Click OK. And that's it. The model is now fully completed. Now that our model is fully complete, the final step is to export it for 3D printing. In the model tree, select the body. Go to File Export. In the Export dialog, choose the 3MF format. This format is widely supported by modern slicers and preserves important manufacturing data. Give the file a suitable name and save it. Next, open your preferred slicer software, import the model, and slice it using your printer's settings, such as layer height, infill, and material type. Send it to your 3D printer, and that's it. Your Christmas ornament ball is now fully modeled and ready to print. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming lessons. If you'd like to support my work and help me continue creating high-quality tutorials, consider buying me a coffee on Ko-fi. Your support, no matter how small, helps me dedicate more time to making detailed, beginner-friendly content for this community. You'll find the Ko-fi link in the video description below. Thank you for following along, and happy 3D printing!